Hey, Queens and Kings. If y'all shaking, I apologize because the show looked like y'all is hard down shaking, but it's the first time I noticed that before that happened. I don't know why. We just left Walmart, um, got our second dose of vaccine, which we obviously late. Don't even hurt. Yeah, this one don't I hurt. We must have got it last week, though, but Dre was, they told Dre something about the second dose make you a little more sick and stuff like that. So, he want us to wait till the weekend to pretty much get it done just in case, you know, get sick or anything. And I have to be in work, so I don't have to worry about missing work. But anyways, welcome back, Queens and Kings. It's, it's Saturday, 11.47, so it's, it's early. Okay, so we're going to Popeyes, we're going to McDonald's. Um, I need to go to Ashley Furniture because I want to go look at some, you know, do Mom, a little window shopping. Let's go to McDonald's and then bye bye. Okay. Um, Ashley Furniture. Yeah, Ashley Furniture. Um, do that. Respond to you guys in the comments because a lot of you guys left some comments and stuff on the moving vlogs and basically asking have you guys missed anything? Which, if you watch the entire vlogs when I'd be talking to you guys wouldn't have missed nothing but that mean you all will skip it through the video mm. I don't know why just shaking this really bothers me because it's shaking it really bothers me shaking like a leaf on a tree <laughs> shaking like a salt shake y'all look at them grays huh? look at them grays the grays even curve I know why it's shaking crazy. Once we come from here, I'll talk to y'all later, okay? Because it's just too much going on right now, and I need to talk talk without being interrupted, okay? I'll see y'all later. Started it early, but yeah. Oh, well, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing yeah, wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, my name is Christian. I'll let you look around. I got you. All right, Christian. If you have any thank questions, you. let me know. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Oh, this is cute. I don't think I've ever been to Ashley Furniture before. Oh, look at this cute chair here. Look at this orange is pretty. This orange is popping, honey. This orange is pretty. Yeah, I know I look for some gray, right? But these colors, honey. This green is pretty. This green is real pretty. Hmm. Hmm. You don't pay for buff to get some. Oh, you can do payments at $5 or $2.99. That's pretty. And this is big. I don't think I've ever seen one this big, though. 
snow corner now. Yeah. That's a nice little section. I don't want no section no more though. I really don't. Look, look at this one here. Did y'all hear that guy burp? Oh my God, he was loud. I thought this was way over. Okay. These are pretty. Oh, look up for those are. I found my next confidence. How much is this? This is so pretty. Look at the pillows. So, it is $249. Oh my God. I think I found my next This one is $200. Right? It's not that I don't want you to It's not that I don't want you to stay. 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 The chair is real deep. I don't know if y'all hear me, but it's real deep. But it's kind of low. It's definitely kind of low. Probably have to put some more legs on to make it higher, but it's soft.
feel like the chair is higher than, I mean, that chair there seems like it's higher than what I'm sitting on the sofa. But this is nice. I like this one. Okay, now I gotta get up. <laughs> Like this piece, you know, like this piece here. That's what I like. Look how pretty these are. $16.99. I don't need no more bookings, but these are gorgeous. These are real pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Puckies. Pretty. Halloween trick or treat. I snuck in the store because of the kids. Little monsters live here. That's so cute. hundred dollars that's a hundred dollars for it yep that's what was here I put a spell on you Say boo. Okay. These are cute. They probably about let's see. $19.99. That's cute. We've seen that one out here. We got this some hocus pocus. Oh. I'm trying to get out of here. Let's see. Peace. 
Hizo tukoyona ya We done made it back. So I might want to show y'all his Legos. Y'all yeah, sitting on the bed, so you see some rocking going on because he's on the bed. Which defeat the purpose of me why I stopped the last video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> mm -hmm. I got these for Not Walmart, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. He got them from Dollar Tree. Um, so, speaking of Dollar Tree, I'm going to do a little quick little haul of the stuff that other stuff I picked up from Dollar Tree. It was, um, it was stuff for the holidays, pretty much. Um, not sure if I'm going to be able to decorate for the holidays, but I still picked up stuff just in case if I am, I get into my apartment, um, about it. But let me show y'all the stuff I did. I'm going to tell you guys the update, what's going on and why behind the reason why some of you guys miss something pretty much because you all swear you missed something but it was said but hold on so i picked up these signs here this one here says happy halloween this one you say beware i have a beware sign but i don't have this font of it i like this because this cute little font of it and what this one is Oh, this is just the plain chalkboard one. Mm -hmm. I was looking for the um, skeleton one. They did not have it. Like, I went to several Dollar Trees looking for some of this stuff because all the Dollar Trees don't have the same stuff. And I don't see a lot of people haul so much stuff that I really want. I picked up these little berries. This is more the fall. It looked like they brown, but I think they're more like a burgundy. They are um, when I look into the light, though. But, you know, berry picks. Picked up two of these signs here. This is to say welcome. They did have, like, the pumpkin and... Uh, witch or something. I didn't like that. I, for Halloween, I like to decorate with more of the skeletons and um, cute glam pumpkins because I'm a spooky glam um, type of decorator. That's what, how I decorate. I don't decorate with all, you know, all the Me stuff. Too. So, yeah. Okay, I found these are so cute. These little shot glasses here, you know, they have the little wine, the flutes. They have the little cup kind with the little skeleton hands on them. I thought these were so cute. It's four little shot glasses. These are super cute. Some of these signs here. I have some other ones that they had last year. This one here say, um, tis the season to be spooky. Okay, Andre, calm down. This one here say, have a spectacular Halloween. This one say, a spooky witch in her boo hunt here. Dre thought that was funny. I don't pick that up because it's cute. And then here, the spider um, venom. And I picked up, I actually picked up one or two more of these, but I did a DIY on them, which I'm going to include this last little portion of the DIY with it. And I picked up these, I picked up uh, one of these. So this one here is half red. I picked it up because I'm going to be using this as well. And this one here too also um because i'm gonna be doing way. yeah i'm gonna be doing a diy with it so follow my diy channel which is valerie glamorous castle diy so you can be able to see that because that video should be coming up pretty soon um and then i picked up these here these little signs here i think these are cute if i decorate for the tree these have been good for the go on like the tree for decor and then I picked up these little um, galvanized sign, the little honey spooky and beware. I know I have some of these, but you know, you I do DIY, so therefore I pick it up. Um, I picked up several of these here, but I had already unpacked them up. I did upload it and showed you guys. Andre, give me them two right there. I'm going to show them um, these little velvet pumpkins. Now, these is hard to find. Hard to find. Once you see them, get them. Don't hesitate or nothing. Or just go buy the whole box and just, I would say, return them. But I showed you guys the brown ones here came from Family Dollar. So you, if you guys don't know, Family Dollars is affiliated with the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Tree took over Family Dollars. So a portion of Family Dollars have Dollar Tree items in there, like an aisle or two. Um, these gold ones here. And then 
this like i said this burgundy i picked up the blue only one i didn't pick up was the gray because they did not have the gray gray was really one that i wanted but i could not find the gray um so i have um a teal andre wanted a teal one i have the gold brown orange and i think the burgundy in blue that was all the colors um i picked up of those but so now okay so y'all seen that we went to what is the store called Ashley Furniture Store, you see it. It was some cute stuff in there. Um, I liked the, the gray living room set that I think I showed you guys last before I left out of there. The cute little sconce that I showed you all was like a um, a bird nest uh, cave or whatever. Those was cute. I liked the orange chair. So basically pretty much what I showed you guys is pretty much stuff of my style that I like. They had more stuff like farmhouse or white uh whitewash type furniture and stuff like that a lot of um traditional i would say type furniture you know big bulky stuff like that so they had a lot of the i didn't find nothing like tufted or nothing like that for the kids because i was looking to see can i find andre bed i didn't see now in there for him um they did say they have other things online that is only for online uh, what else? So that's pretty much was it. Pretty much what I showed right, you guys. Let me give you guys a update of when it come down to what's going on with the videos that you all are seeing. You guys seen the apartment tours, um, and you are just I just upload the last pack with me as in boxes and stuff. What Friday? Um. So. The reason why you feel like you missed some because you actually missed the assignment, queens and kings. That's basically watching the video the entirety. Like, I love y'all and everything, though. But I, this, I'm just going to tell you. So, I did mention in one or two of the videos before I did department tours and that I was going to be downsizing. I said it. I said some changes going to be happening to the channel. Um, and I'm going to be downsizing. So, therefore, I'm about to start pushing out the apartment tour videos. And then I'm going to start going into the packing videos. I said that pretty much. I think I was sitting in the same little spot when I said it. Y'all can't be skimming through the videos. You'll actually hear me say that. <laughs> so, now the reason why y'all got the tours in three different categories, pretty much three things, three separate videos, is because of my household, my lifestyle. I don't have the time to fully do a full go through the whole house type videos without it actually staying clean like i wanted to so if i clean up right now in the living room i promise you within the next 10 to 20 minutes this little one bit of mess the back up with his toys you see he's my shadow yeah where i go he go so his toys everywhere his toys everywhere <laughs> so that's why you had to get it in three different sections so now you guys get in the apartment packing videos now this is the fourth moving vlog video i really wanted this video to be me doing an empty apartment tour but unfortunately i can't do that right now so that's why we went shopping because i wanted that to be the next video after the apartment tour but the way how things fall and going in order right now is not working which is the reason why because i go to the apartment complex and i go there and ask them hey i'm just coming to check up to see what's going on nobody can't do an inspection yet and i've been do i don't been on the waiting list for a month now haven't heard from nobody can you tell me like how far i am on this waiting list because i don't want to be sitting on the waiting list for a good six months and i got six months to go i might well just stay in the apartment you know because it's gonna re it's gonna start over soon i'm moving to the downsides to the next apartment it's not gonna continue on with how long I already I'm been started within my lease, if that makes sense. It's basically, I'm going to have to do it over like a new resident, pretty much. So, going to ask her that, you know, you, you tell me this, that, and the third. So, she pulled up my name after I gave her my name, of course. And she said, oh, you're the next one on the, on the list to go for your apartment to be open. I was like, okay, then great. So, you know, I'm, I'm excited. I'm happy. And she, she was like, but, wait a minute. What you mean, but? But. All the maintenance people quit. What you mean all the maintenance people quit? Where the hell is the maintenance people? What did y'all do? What? What? What you? Mm -mm. So you let them quit before they got ready to do my apartment? And that's pretty much what happened. They all quit. They was down to one maintenance guy. 
I think they got down to two now because one just started the other day when she told me that's what was going to happen. Another person was starting. But I was like, well, do y'all need me to go put out some signs or something? So to help y'all get some peoples up in here. Because, listen, I need somebody to come do my um, walkthrough. I said, hey, one of y'all could do the walkthrough. It don't matter to me. Somebody come walk through this Vovica. And so, therefore, I can go ahead and start getting to my apartment. <laughs> so, basically, I'm at a standstill now, uh, which is basically discouraged me of finish packing and everything. But I'm still going to go ahead and pack. So, when it do come about, hopefully, they come do this inspection Monday or something like that. Because I really want to be in an apartment by September. But, you know. Things happen. I know with all this stuff going on and everything, but so now I'm in a halt. I'm basically on a pause when it come down to packing. So from here on out, I'm not even sure what I want to give you guys or what can I give you guys? You know, I don't know. I don't know because that really discouraged me and I don't want to give you guys no more packing videos. I did all the packing that I want to do on camera. I had a whole plan, you know, the unboxing and all that stuff there. So that's still going to happen, that portion, but it's just pretty much going to stop right here. Um, so I don't know what I'll be uploading on this channel now. Um, I got to go into my creative mode, but I will be uploading on my second channel. So y'all go check that out. Valerie Glamour's Castle DIY. Go check it out because I'll be actually uploading a video pretty soon over there. Um, so that's where I'm at now, Queens and Kings. So y'all ain't missing us just that you guys didn't just listen to the whole entire video. Stop skipping through the damn video. Stop skipping. <laughs> but that is it. We done made it back home. We got our second dose of vaccine. So we are good. We're good. Praise God. But we're still going to continue, you know, washing our hands, wearing our masks and doing all this. And I'm going to you know, doing our part. So, yeah. I'm tired. I'm tired. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Pretty much a day in the vlog, day in the life with us. Pretty much that's what this was. We went to Walmart. I didn't show you guys that because well, I will show you guys about Walmart. We did a grocery haul. Well, I, I didn't do a grocery haul, but I purchased some things from the grocery store. I did want to show y'all guys the little stuff that I did picked up from the Dollar Tree. We went to actually furniture, and now we're back home. Now we're back home. So that is it, Queens and Kings. I will talk to you all in the next video. Say it. Oh, let you say it. Let you say it. Andre want to say something, y'all. Um, well, you know that to 17 million subscribers. Andre said we about to get to 17 million subscribers. So y'all go ahead and hit it and run it up. Run the numbers up. Run it up. Run it up. Let the ads play and everything. So therefore, we could be bougie on the luxury. Luxury on the bougie like we already is. <laughs> but anyway, Squeeze the Kids, I will talk to you all in the next video. You guys continue to be what? That's Roya and I love you guys. Bye-bye.